How's it going you guys? And in today's video I'll be showing you how you can fix this error with your computer. So what I did to uh, get that error is I took every single bit of this out and it was my first time ever taking apart a computer like completely and I took out the graphics card, I took out literally everything so I can get familiar with it because that's what I like to do and so that I can rebuild it and get used to building this computer like modifying this computer so what I ended up doing was <clears throat> was forgetting to plug in the SATA cable and this orange one I don't know if it's orange for y'all this orange one for me is for the DVD drive right here and um, this blue one is for my SATA hard drive right here so I have a broken SATA cable for the hard drive came like this from whenever I got the computer it's nothing too big I just wrapped it in electrical tape really tight and just pushed it in and then I kept on turning it on getting that stupid little error I took everything back apart put it all back together and I thought it had something to do with the USB um, little thing the wires but that's what it was that wasn't what it was so um, I tried to load up the boot menu nothing was working my keyboard wasn't working nothing was working so I literally just um, I was like I'm gonna try one more thing so I tried I could have sworn I had seen this orange cable plugged or sorry it was faced over there this orange cable plugged into here but apparently that's not what it was and I knew I should have taken pictures but oh well it's fixed now and <clears throat> so I thought I just had this extra blue cable just like sitting back here because I know I have some cables like this one and that one just sitting back there for the second hard drive right here but I was like why not I'll just plug this in over here and I kept on reading into this like super close and it said SATA right there I was like what and so I plugged in the blue with the blue let me get this right here let me zoom out I plugged in the blue with the blue which I'll do right now. Also, I forgot to tell y'all. These have s specific little arrows right here. And so does the cable. So I do not recommend you just jamming it in there if it doesn't fit. Just look at the cable. Then look at the little socket. And then be gentle with it. And then just plug it in. <laughs> And like I said, I just wrapped up tape around this, put it back on, and I fixed it. What it would do is it would do this and hang like halfway off. So, yeah. Um, I know this is terribly uh, cable managed, but I mean, once I take this apart a couple more times and get used to it, then... I'll definitely cable manage it more but until then I'll just leave it how it is and I'm also um, I'm saving up all my money to buy a new graphics card because this one is trash here um, I'll take it out for you all I'll be right back so you guys um, I took out the graphics card this is my very very crappy NVIDIA um, GT 
8400GS. Break it. Hold on. Let me stabilize this right here. As you can tell right there, NVIDIA G4 uh, 8400GS, 512 megabytes. That's literally not even enough to run any type of good game. Um, so the one I'm getting is actually the Zotac. Uh, it's the Zotac GT 734 gigabyte. Yeah, the 4 gigabyte version. And yeah, um, it's going to have a different cooler on there, fan. It's going to have like a thermal one, I think. Like it's not even a fan, it's just, it looks like these little things. Like this little gold thing right here. It's just like all around it. But um, once I get it, I'll test it out. And once I test it out, if it's good, then... I'll leave the little cooler on there, but if it's not, I'll just take this one off, and then I'll switch it over to the other one. But, yeah, you guys, uh, I'll be right back and I'll boot this right up. But make sure all your cables, if you took it apart, are plugged into the right spot. But yeah, I'll be right back whenever this loads up. Also, many of y'all were... PMing me about what type of RAM I have. Um, I have two one gigabyte RAM sticks from whatever company that is. The Nanny, Nanny, Nania. I don't know. Um, that's the one gigabyte sticks. I have. I have two of those. The other one is right here. Oh, it's blurry. The other one is right here, and then the two gigabyte is right here, and the two uh, the two gigs. Uh, this is all like generic stuff. It's Hynix Korea 09. I th guess that's what it's called. It's the two gigabyte DDR2. And I was actually thinking about buying 16 gig. Um, or. Two eight gigabyte RAM sticks, and then adding what uh, these two gigabyte ones to the other two slots right here. But apparently this motherboard, which is the whole reason why I took this apart, apparently this motherboard only supports eight gigabytes max of uh, RAM. So yeah, and I'll be right back again. Oh wait, whoops. So now it's loading up. Um, like I said, I gotta cable manage all of this because I don't want it hitting this fan. But it's gonna load up. And once it loads up, I'll be right back. So as you can see, <coughs> everything is working fine. Uh, Windows is starting up. And I'll be back once it's completely loaded. And as you can see, it's completely loaded up. So I'll put this computer back down there. I gotta cable manage all of this, but I'll put this back down there and I'll be right back. So right now I'm just putting all the plugs back in. And yeah. Sorry guys. Um there was a problem where I guess um, I accidentally shoved which cable is where's it at? Oh, I accidentally shoved this USB not paying attention into the Ethernet port, which I don't know what this part is right here, but it bent it all the way in, and so I had to get some pliers and I was trying to break it off because I don't think it's needed but now I got it so now I'm just I thought I had to open this stuff back up but I don't so I'll be right back again okay you guys I'm back uh, everything's plugged back in computers working perfectly fine as you can see 
everything is working perfect. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.